What's up everybody, another beautiful day in the Emerald Dream and this is how you beat Mythic Nimue. Yes, that's how you say it. Now I'll be going over all the new mechanics, how to deal with them and our overall strat. I will not go over all the heroic mechanics, but I have guides out for that as well. Setup wise, you want two tanks, four or five healers and 13 to 14 DPS, full single target blasting. In phase one, there's a few new things to spice up the encounter. Now they worked around the clock to bring you yet another circle to soak, but this time it's red. What Whatever will they think of next, oh, which is the ephemeral flora, which will spawn either on the left or right side in melee, so all melee plus tanks when they're able needs to cuddle up in the red circle. If you don't soak it in time, everyone dies, which you wanna avoid. And when you soak a green or red circle, a reclamation triggers, stand in the green swirl and you die. This means space will be even more cramped and triggering multiple reclamation soaks at the same time can be very dangerous, especially in melee. And for the intermission, you will get a new ad, which means you will have to split your raid up into several groups. The new ad spawns far in the back of the room and it needs to die within 30 seconds. Or you die! Each player can only do this once. You need to have a different set of one healer, four to five DPS assigned to the mythic ad for each of the intermissions. Now on top of this, you need to split the remaining players to go deal with left and right cycle warden. You can use a week or to help assign and track this linked in the descriptions and you set this up via ERT notes and it just shows players where they need to go for each intermission but do be prepared to try a few different comps for your ad groups before you find the right balance of DPS for the mythic ad it will continuously deal ticking damage to players inside the dome and fire off cones in several directions these are aimed towards players so try to always be near a verdant line so you can side step the cone without having to cross the line and on top of this the cycle warden adds needs to die within a few seconds of each other or the raid dies so with that out of the way let's break down the fight you want to have range and healers spread out in range to cover as much ground as possible for the surging growths the green circles range be prepared to move a lot to dodge stun beams and soak the circles you want to very aggressively soak the growths constantly in both melee and range to keep raid damage down. For the mythic soak, the red circle, this will always overlap with stun beams and it will spawn on the left or right side in melee. We had one player just say left or right on discord and all melee DPS just rushed over to it. Now if a green circle overlaps the red circle, make sure you only stand in the red one. The green soaks get done way faster which means they'll trigger a swirl right on top of the red circle and you won't soak it in time. And you die! Keep in mind that it is perfectly safe to cross the line. One stack is barely noticeable, two is survivable, three stacks is when you start praying. Please lord! So you never need to care about crossing a line to get a soak or dodge a stun beam or swirl. Just avoid crossing multiple lines without dropping your stacks. And when the stun beams are going out, especially in range, sometimes it can be worth delaying a soak for a few seconds to first dodge the beam, but overall just be aggressive with soak you can always dodge across a line. For the players targeted by the bombs dropping barrier blossoms, we tried to place most of ours along the boss wall, just not in front of the boss. You can drop him further into the room just as long as it doesn't block a path you need, like smack down on where the mythic ad is or in front of the cycle wardens. Otherwise, just get him out! When you get an intermission, you need one player from the mythic ad group to get hit by full bloom, the green circle around boss. Make sure to have a defensive up for this and this is so that you spawn in fluorescence so that you can get there safe and fast or your group can when you're at the cycle wardens aggressively soak all the groves that the cycle warden spawns and players dealing with the mythic ad make sure to line up dps cooldowns for your ad as soon as this ad dies these players can go left and right to help with the cycle warden if needed and as soon as the wardens die stack up in front of boss and heal away then phase one starts again and it's pretty much rinse repeat each phase one and intermission works the same, just that each new phase one has a new set of verdant lines. Or, well, more of them. It's really lining up quite nicely. Eh, things we wiped on was not killing Mythic Ad in time, which we solved by moving players around in the ad groups. 
not soaking enough groves, and for most of our prog we 4 healed, but we killed it the very moment we swapped to 5 healers. The boss DPS requirement is not that high at all here, so overkilling healing helped a lot and allowed players to soak more carefree. I might cross this line right now. And that's pretty much it. Hope you liked it and let me know if you've downed a boss. Now if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or become a patron, Twitch sub, or YouTube member and get access to the stanky Discord where you can get help with anything rating related. Or if you just want to support my work, don't forget the usual stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, slap that notification bell. It really does help me out. Thank you all for watching. I will uh, see you next time.